Now, I know many of you who know my musical taste might be wondering, why on earth would I have a Grateful Dead box set in my collection? Well, um, <clears throat> some years ago, a friend of mine introduced me to a Grateful Dead album called uh, Shakedown Street uh, with some uh, R. Crumb uh, cover artwork. And it was, without a doubt, one of the funkiest things I'd ever heard in my life. So I began exploring a lot of other um, records from that period of the Grateful Dead's career, uh, such as uh, Blues for Allah, uh, Terrapin Station, so on and so forth. Now this is a really enormous box set. Um, it's called Beyond Description, 1973-1989. This is a 10-album box set, usually probably in the triple-digit range in terms of price. But I got this for under $30 off Amazon once um, during the holiday season, actually. And uh, it opens up, and they have a nice liner booklet here. It's pretty thick. Uh, it's a picture of the Grateful Dead around that time. There's a lot of pictures in here. A lot of, uh, there's a advertisement. I could just spend a lot of time going through these liner notes in particular, but that would probably take a long time. Full credits for all the records. But anyway, that's the liner booklet. This is the first album in the set, uh, Wake of the Flood from 1973. Um, if you open it up, these are all um, HD high definition CDs, by the way. Uh, they can play in your regular CD player. This has um, several bonus cuts on it, including uh, a live rendition of the Weather Report Suite from this album. Uh, this is the Grateful Dead album from Mars Hotel. A lot of people think this is a live album. They call it Live from Mars Hotel. But as far as I know, it's a studio record. It's a, one of their jazzier albums. Their first two albums on their Grateful Dead record imprint were very jazzy. And this is one of my favorites they did, uh, Blues for Allah. This is a very funky album from 1975. This came out in 1975. Open that up, you can see the CD. Six bonus tracks, mostly live, of course being that's what the Grateful Dead are mostly known for. Here's Terrapin Station from 1977. Uh, the reason I couldn't pass this up is because most of these CDs are in the $13, $14 range separately. And, you know, this is a $30 set in mint condition for something used. So, and here's the album that introduced me to the Grateful Dead, Shakedown Street. It's actually one of my favorite albums that they did. Um, a lot of people might contest that, and uh, but I really think so. From a funky standpoint, uh, some might call it disco, but uh, that's another story. This is a great album. Uh, this is their 1980 release, uh, Go to Heaven. Not one of the most popular albums, but it's included there nonetheless. This is uh, another liner book. There's a lot of little, little liner books in here. I think pretty much covering both periods. I had this at the bottom for some reason. Nice psychedelic liquid lights. Oh, uh, there's one thing back there. Love Mickey Hart's uh, drum kit. Love the way that's set up. So that's that. And there's some live albums that are included. This is from 1981, live set called Reckoning. It's a double CD with bonus material. And this is um, Dead Set, also from 1981, I believe. Oh, yeah, and their 1987 comeback, which had Touch of Grey, which is their first hit, uh, In the Dark. And uh, the final Grateful Dead album, at least with Jerry Garcia, Built to Last. And uh, let me put all this stuff back here. 
And that's what the inside of that set looks like. That's the Grateful Dead Beyond Description box set. I love it.